Hey, your cookie, come on. These days, Maggie the Miniature Pincher doesn't go anywhere half speed, even the vet. She wants to go for walks all the time. That's great. That's what I want to hear. Maggie's energy is a new phenomenon. Oh, she was always laying down. For six years, she was coping with a massive fluid buildup. It would just be like she had a, a baseball or a softball in her belly, and it was hard. It was caused by a rare heart defect. She has what is known as core triatriatum dexter. Which means... And then up here, there should just be one chamber, but instead we see two. And that extra wall caused a big backup. And you can see blood is just kind of trickling through, uh, getting into the, the rest of the heart. And so it's the same concept as when you put your thumb on the garden hose. And For dogs like Maggie, that usually means a shorter life because open heart surgery is too risky and unaffordable. But a team of specialists at the University of Minnesota College of Veterinary Medicine are trying something different. So you'll see here the stent is starting to expand. Two weeks ago, they inserted a stent into Maggie's heart. Well, they just slip it right in there and it sticks and that's it. With the stent in place, this is how blood passes through Maggie's heart now. You'll see it kind of swirls and then goes right across the stent. And because that stent can be implanted with just a catheter, oh, nice oh. And healed up. it drastically speeds recovery. Within 24 hours, all that fluid had disappeared. Maggie is now turning heads across the country as vets look to replicate a procedure that finally offers an affordable, life-saving option. For the procedure to be done here, about three grand. In Maggie's case, it was even less. And that red represents blood flow going through the stent. Her stent was donated by the University of Minnesota Medical School because pediatric cardiologists believe the procedure could one day help humans born with the same rare defect. If we can avoid open heart surgery or delay the need for open heart surgery in a little infant, that would be a great thing. It's already a great thing for Maggie. It's much more active, much more happier. And her and family. For them to, to do something like this, it's just amazing. And I can't thank you enough. I don't have the words to tell you. In St. Paul, Kent Erdogan, CARE 11 News.